severe weather alert, heavy rain, floods, and storms hit Thailand until October 21. Adverse weather is forecast to affect much of Thailand through at least October 21. The Thai Meteorological Department has issued warnings about thunderstorms, heavy rain, and strong winds across the northern and central regions, with continuous heavy to very heavy rain expected in the south. The heaviest downpours are anticipated in the eastern region and along the southern coast. Marine conditions, waves up to 1 meter, 3 feet, are predicted in the Andaman Sea, with smaller waves expected in the Gulf of Thailand. Boats are advised to avoid areas with thunderstorms, as hazardous conditions could arise, including strong winds, hail, and lightning. Impact on communities and infrastructure. Flood risks, persistent rainfall could cause flooding in low-lying areas, especially near rivers and reservoirs. Urban flooding may occur in areas with insufficient drainage, and flash floods remain a risk downstream of reservoirs. Landslides could develop in hilly and mountainous regions due to saturated soil. Disruptions, strong winds may cause property damage and power outages. Flooded roads could disrupt overland travel, and ponding on highways may create dangerous driving conditions. Temporary road closures are possible in low-lying areas. Airports could experience flight delays or cancellations, and some ports or beachfront areas may temporarily close due to hazardous sea conditions. Rail services may also face disruptions if tracks are submerged. Health and disease risks Flooding raises the risk of disease outbreaks, as stagnant water from overflowing drains and sewer systems can become breeding grounds for mosquitoes and bacteria. Floodwaters contaminated with industrial waste or sewage pose additional health risks. Flood situation in specific provinces. As of October 20, flooding persists in five provinces, though water levels are gradually receding. Ayathe, 598 villages in districts such as Bang Ban and Phak Hai are affected, but floodwaters are decreasing. Nakan Patom, floods remain in 40 villages in Banglen and Nakan Chai Shui districts, with levels declining. Saphan Buri, 109 villages were flooded, particularly in Bang Pla Ma and Song Phai Nong districts. Utai Thoni, flash floods hit 20 villages in Ban Rai district. Lamphun, flooding affected nine villages in Muing district, though the situation is improving. These provinces, located primarily in the central plains, are among the most affected. Since mid-August, flooding has impacted 47 provinces, resulting in 57 deaths, 28 injuries, and affecting approximately 256,400 families. Precautions and warnings Residents across northern, northeastern, and central Thailand should stay alert for thunderstorms, flash floods, and landslides, particularly in low-lying and mountainous areas. Heavy rains are expected to persist in coastal regions along the eastern and southern coasts, increasing the risk of flash floods and landslides. Marine warnings, coastal areas may see waves up to 2 meters, 6.5 feet, during storms. Fishermen and small vessels are advised to avoid sailing during thunderstorms. Authorities urge people to stay indoors during severe weather, avoid flood-prone areas, and monitor official updates to stay safe. Bangkok proposes congestion fee to support 20 baht flat train fare. Bangkok Governor Chadchart Sitapunt has endorsed a proposal by the Transport Ministry to introduce a congestion fee for vehicles entering the city central areas. Revenue from this fee would help subsidize a flat 20 baht fare across all electric train lines in the capital. The concept of congestion charges has been successfully implemented in cities like London and Singapore, aiming to reduce traffic and promote public transport use. Governor Chad Chart emphasized that for this policy to be effective, Bangkok needs a well-developed public transport network. This includes expanding electric train services, improving bus routes, and upgrading pedestrian infrastructure to make travel safer and more convenient. The proposed congestion fee would apply to vehicles entering the Central Business District, CBD, covering a larger zone to prevent drivers from diverting to adjacent streets to avoid the charge. However, the governor noted that the policy should be introduced only when sufficient public transport options are available to avoid placing a burden on low-income residents and families, particularly those who drive their children to school. Chad Chart stressed the importance of using traffic management technologies to implement the fee effectively.
Former Deputy Bangkok Governor Samart Ratchapolsit also weighed in, pointing out that although the idea has been discussed for years, concerns about its impact on commuters have delayed its adoption. Samart suggested that proper planning is essential to address challenges such as parking availability and exemptions to the fee. Transport Minister Saria Jungrungriankit added that the congestion fee system would follow successful international models. He also proposed that the government consider buying back train line concessions from private operators to keep fares affordable. With Bangkok facing ongoing traffic congestion and pollution, these initiatives aim to shift residents toward public transportation and reduce dependency on private cars. However, their success will depend on careful planning, thoughtful execution, and the development of an efficient and accessible public transport network. Few Thai faces political turmoil as election probe threatens government stability. Few Thai faces crisis as election commission probe threatens government stability. The Few Thai party is on the brink of a political crisis following the election commission's investigation into its alleged ties with former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat. Internal tensions are mounting as the ruling party faces petitions, rising protests, and growing uncertainty, with fears that these developments could push Thailand into political turmoil by 2025. The Election Commission's decision on Friday to launch a formal investigation highlights the precarious future for few Thai and the government. On Saturday, former Defence Minister Suting Klangsaring stressed that Thaksin does not control the party, citing Few Thai's decision to nominate Pitongtan Shinawat as Prime Minister in August instead of the alternative nominee, Chai Kasem Nitisiri. However, Suting warned that unless party leadership takes decisive action, Thailand could face severe political instability in the coming year. The investigation revolves around whether Thaksin exerts influence over the party, which would be a violation of the Political Parties Act of 2017. If evidence supports the allegations, the case could be referred to the Constitutional Court, potentially leading to few ties dissolution and a political ban on Prime Minister P. Tongtan Shinawat for 10 years. Complaints about Thaksin's alleged interference include reports of a key meeting on August 14 at his residence, where decisions about government formation were reportedly discussed while he was on parole. However, Deputy Prime Minister Phumtham Wechiyachai has dismissed the claims, saying the meeting was merely social. Amid these developments, street protests are gaining momentum, further challenging the government. Figures from Royalist Thai Fakti and Palang Prasharat have submitted multiple petitions, and tensions are brewing within the cabinet over issues like constitutional reform and a proposed amnesty bill. The political uncertainty has placed few Thai survival in question. With leadership under scrutiny, mounting controversies, and cabinet disagreements, the party faces growing external and internal pressure. Analysts warn that failure to address these challenges could lead to another political crisis by 2025, threatening not only the government's stability but also Thailand's broader political landscape. Police confiscate luxury cars as Icon Group fraud victim count surpasses for 1,700. Authorities have confiscated for additional luxury vehicles from two high-ranking executives linked to the Icon Group scam, as the number of victims rises to 4,743, with estimated losses totaling 1.4 billion baht. The Consumer Protection Police Division, CPPD, of the Central Investigation Bureau, CIB, announced on Sunday that three luxury cars belonging to Warathafan, Boss Paul Waratia Warakal, the group's CEO, were seized along with a Mercedes-Benz van owned by Khan Kantahaven, the chief marketing officer. Notably, Warathafan had gifted Khan the van just days before authorities launched their crackdown on the alleged fraudulent operation. Both Warathafan and Khan were arrested along with 16 other executives last Wednesday. They face charges for operating a pyramid scheme disguised as multilevel marketing MLM and spreading false information through online platforms. The Crime Suppression Division, CSD, reported a continued influx of complaints from victims, with claims against the Icon Group now totaling 4,743 individuals and damages estimated at 1.4 billion baht. Investigators aim to finalize the initial case report soon to expedite court proceedings. Victims can file complaints until October 31st, with submissions beyond that date being included in follow-up cases to avoid delays in the initial prosecution. Foreign victims have also come forward, represented by Mr. Itadet Thanatwatna, who submitted evidence including purchase receipts, photos, and interactions with CEO Warathafan.
victims from over 10 countries, such as China, Hong Kong, Macau, Italy, Germany, Canada, Estonia, and Luxembourg, reported combined losses exceeding 20 million baht. Many of these victims, primarily small merchants, had planned to resell Icon Group products but never received their orders. According to Itadet, many were enticed to invest due to celebrity endorsements linked to the business. While refunds are being pursued, foreign victims face additional challenges like language barriers and high travel costs, prompting some to send representatives to provide testimony in Thailand. Thank you for tuning in today. For the latest updates and daily news, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Have a wonderful day.